Hey guys, Romy here, so please like, comment, subscribe. This is my review for The Real Housewives of Potomac, season, what is this, season 2, episode 12, Home is Where the Truth Is. Now this is going to be a quick review. So it starts off with Karen going and saying that, you know, I don't need to uh, listen to the opinions of some stupid girl at the end of, uh, you know, end of a line or end of a group or on the other side of the room. Karen is upset. Karen is irritated. She doesn't want the ladies to go and critique her. She doesn't want the ladies to go and have, have as much of an opinion of her life as they've had for this past season. She doesn't understand why the ladies can't just go and build her up or to continue to build her up and uh, see her accomplishments and acknowledge those instead of trying to find shortcomings and, if they do, pounce on them like hyenas. I'm saying this is what the group does. Karen, we get you're going through some stuff, but you're not being truthful as to what it is. And because of that, people are trying to make assumptions as to what they are. Now, they're trying to assume that it's financial troubles, it's financial woes. And I'm thinking it really could be her being stressed out about her mom and the stuff that's going on in her real personal life and not anything to do with her relationship or anything like that. But the ladies still, not everyone believe. when I say everyone, most of the group believes she's having financial troubles. They just want to hear from her mouth. She's not living it enough. She's letting them know that she's having a party. She doesn't want to give them the details on the party as of yet, but she is going to set uh, some things up because she has to talk with Ray. I guess that hasn't happened as of yet. Now, we see that everyone's at home having the cute little time. The main thing, the main next scene that happens actually has to do with Robin. Right now, Robin is at home and she has this conversation with Juan. The conversation goes as follows. Juan, so here's what happened. I've been seeing a therapist. Okay, cool. And the therapist says, said that I should date. Okay, so did you? Well, I tried, and that didn't work because I wanted to go and explore what we had here. Explore, <laughs> well, what do we have? Well, I just wanted to know, if you heard me dating, uh, me around town dating, would you be happy? Would you be excited? Well, no, I wouldn't be excited. And it's like, oh, you wouldn't? No, why do I want to see you date anyone else right now? But that doesn't mean anything. There's a lot of guys who have that mindset of, even though I don't want to be with you anymore, I don't want to see you with anyone else. That, that's nothing new. That's nothing special. So I don't understand why Robin thought for a moment that that was. I said Robin. So they're going to go and explore their own personal relationship and see if it goes anywhere. But it almost felt like he more so wanted it to be a, okay, we're friends. And let's just go and strengthen our friendship and our, you know, our bond as parents. That's what I actually took from it. That's not what she took from it. So at Karen's house, because... Uh, Ray went and moved most of the stuff in himself. Well, of course, the moving crew, but you get what I mean, because Karen wasn't there to help with the main move. And it's funny because we will eventually hear what's going to happen with their party. But we see this house, and it's huge. We see this huge white house, and I looked at this like money problems, because Ray said, you know, downsizing. Karen said, I'll downsize on my time. If it's not my time, that's not going to happen. I looked at this like, I respect it, but house is, this house is beautiful. What the? This house is huge. It's bigger than your last one. 14,000 square feet, nine rooms. I'm yelling again. 14,000 square feet, nine rooms. You kidding me? No, yes, it's a lease. I get, I get that. No, I, I get that they're renting it. I understand that. But this thing is huge. It's beautiful. It's in a different area code, which I'm hearing it's not even necessarily a downgrade as far as area codes either. So I'm really trying to figure out, Karen, what, what's going on here? Like, what's going on here? Nine rooms. Nine rooms. Unless Ray's making more money and it's better for him to have a more expensive house. I'm trying to figure out, it, this just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It does not. But... As far as their relationship, they're both like, okay, everything's fine. So they're creating this party. Karen wants to go and do an Indian, um, as in, you know, content of India type of theme. So add the saris and the Bollywood S type of performances and vibe. Ray said, we're black. We're African. African American, but we're still African. So he wants the shiki. He wants us to do the tribal dances. He wants the drums. And so Karen said, you know what, this is a marriage, let's compromise. Let's do both. I said, this party is going to be interesting. I actually want to see this because this looks like it could go left real quick. Real quick unless it's done well. 
So Giselle goes and has a conversation with Kevin. Kevin's her actual friend who wants to date her, and she said yeah because she figured, you know what, why not? She wanted to go and let Kevin know that, no, I want to be friends. And Kevin said, well, you know, you won't, we won't ever really know until we find out if we become more than friends, if we really date and see where it could possibly lead. And she says, no, we should just be friends. Kevin's like, no, but we should date. She said, no, we should be friends. Kevin said, no, we should date. Of course, Giselle won, and Kevin said, you know what, okay. Because Kevin was like, you know, we've been taking this a little bit too slow. I want to go and move things up. She said, no, we, we should just stay. We are friends. We are great friends. You know, that horrible F word, friends. So Kevin is officially forever in the friend zone. He just had to accept it. Uh, Monique invited the ladies over to her Potomac, her $4.5 million Potomac house, 12,000 square feet. And she doesn't have any air conditioning right now. At least it's not working or at least it's not completely set up. I said, okay, cool. It's not furnished yet, but she let us all know that that was the case. So she kept it real from the jump. So no one had anything else to say. So she invited the usual crew, Sharice, um, Karen, as well as Ashley. And I don't believe, was Robin there? I don't think Robin was there, which is funny to me. So we move along with them. And did anyone else notice that they were taking the labels off of the water bottles? Because I'm assuming they couldn't um, for branding purposes. I, I noticed that. I know a lot of people didn't catch that, but I noticed that. Now, this is when Karen, because she likes Monique and feels like, oh, they're in a similar boat with the whole moving thing. This is when she lets me know, oh, yeah, I moved into my house, too. Not furnished, not furnished either. And everyone's looking at Karen like, Karen, what is going on with you? And I'm thinking, none of this is an actual big deal. None of it at all. So while they're going through Monique's house, Monique says she wants to put up a mirror on the ceiling, ceiling, one on the wall, and it's funny because they're like, <laughs> Sharice, that's your friend. Ashley's like, oh my god, Monique, you, you've you officially replaced Karen for me because me and Karen and I, we, we're not really that cool right now. Now, they go back downstairs and Karen's elaborates more in her party on how they're going to do a combination of Indian as well as African and more details are to come and so I guess during that time Monique <sighs> oh we're gonna get to that we're gonna get to that soon enough what she what she decided to now hmm Jesus but Ashley's invited because originally Karen said, I'm not sure if you're going to be invited because I don't like the fact that as my friend, you're not really helping to build me up. You're kind of borderline trying to tear me down. So I, I don't want to do that. So now she said, told the ladies, you're going to go dress shopping so that you can know where to get the types of looks. So they go to this, uh, you know, this Indian themed shop to get everything that they needed. And it was Sharice, Ashley and Robin. Now I thought that that was an interesting combination where they're all just kind of talking about how it's kind of weird how Karen, she moved, no one knew about it, no one knew where, no one still knows where, and now they're throwing this party and I'm just wondering if they're doing all this because there's issues going on. And I said, you know what, why don't we go and focus on all of your issues? Divorce, separation that's taken forever to fully separate and marriage on the rocks I mean that's what's going on when that little click right there so you're doing all this focusing on Karen and I feel like this is something so small because they have nothing else this season was a bunch of nothing it was it was recycled nothing season three better come on some come back super strong or else they need to add someone else Monique was cool she was and I liked her now we need to add someone else. We need, we this show needs more substance. There wasn't much going on, if you really think about it. The charity stuff was nice. All of that was nice. But the reality is, you bring a bunch of ladies together. They didn't get along, but they didn't get along for dumb reasons. It was so dumb. It was so dumb and so childish. So now it's the day of the party. Karen's getting ready. Uh, her husband's getting ready. Now, if, if the house is huge. They have her talk. I'm trying to. She get. Uh, Karen gives Ray his gift, which was the picture, and he said, "Oh, this is great, but where's the rest of your clothes?" <laughs> I said, "Ray, that's the picture." 
<laughs> that is the picture. He said, oh, oh, this is, oh, great, beautiful. I noticed that they were focusing on the labels for the, some of the people who had them, like the C's for Chanel. Giselle looked great. I really liked how her outfit. Karen looked cool. Um, Ray looked cool. Well, Karen did look great. Uh, I liked the headpiece on Cherise. I did like that. And the white was nice. Ashley, I believe, had the yellow, if I'm not mistaken. But, well... There was someone who walked in. Everyone turned. I, this isn't. It, I'm not exaggerating. Everyone turned around in unison. Like, look, look, no, look, Guardians turn. What you turn? What is it? In comes Monique. She comes in, and she's like, "Oh, hey!" She comes up dressed as a Native American chief. I said, "You know what? You're doing too much. You're doing too much." For some reason, I felt like it's not technically, you know, being sensitive or when you also wear the headpiece and all that. And people were looking like, uh uh. Now, I, knowing enough about Monique, I figured that she was joking. She said, you know what? Since the whole thing was confusing, I figured, let me just go and show how much it didn't make sense and wear a Native American garb. Now, everyone else is coming in. Uh, Robin came in. She was wearing purple. She looked nice. Like, Monique, what the? Oh, this is a joke? Okay, cool. <laughs> Ashley, same thing, like, oh, this is a joke? Okay, cool. But then the next thing they wanted to complain about, which I thought was valid, where's the food? Where's the drinks? They had nothing there. And I said, there's no way that they set this party up and they had nothing for the people. The people who were, that made no sense. Why was Michael dressed in? He was dressed as if he was trying to channel a genie. I said, you know what? We're doing too much. We're doing too much right now. We're doing too much right now. Too much right now. <laughs> My God. But uh, they had the dancers, the uh, Indian dancers. I said, okay, cool. Ray and Karen came down. They waved to the little people like, hey, yes, yes, yes. We've upgraded. Yes, this is Elise, but we've upgraded. And so Ashley gets more details from uh, Monique about what the, how the house was acquired. And essentially... It's a, like we said, a lease to purchase, which means that whatever they paid for the 12 months during the initial lease, that's part of the down payment on the house. I said, okay, at least someone was doing the thinking there. Now, Karen had a whole bunch of people that said, oh, these, mm, these people are definitely not from Potomac. <sighs> I said, oh my God, I don't care. I don't care at all. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But the party was cool. The drinks and refreshments and the food were outside. I said, okay, fine. Now, in this other tent, we had the African dancers. Ray even got into it. He was like, yeah, this is my speed. Yeah, this is my people. Let's go. Let's get it. Hey, hey. And I said, okay. Now, while all of that's going on, Karen was behind Ray. She was dancing too. I said, no, 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 let's stop that. I cannot. Please stop. No, but we see a coming together, you know, come together moment between Ashley and Robin. Ashley apologizes and said, I'm sorry I was harping on your relationship as much. I realized I needed to take a beep beep. I just needed to calm down a little bit. And Robin said, yeah, that's all you needed. And I appreciate it. Again, more come together moments where we had Cherise, she said, you know what, congratulations, Karen, on everything and your accomplishments. And Karen said, you know, I know a lot is going on with you and your relationship. And so I really appreciate you being here for me as a friend. I appreciate that so much. I said, see, there are no real issues after all. This is the dumb, petty stuff. And the episode ended with Karen got a surprise. And it was uh, Raven, who was her daughter, and her son, they all... They got a recording from her mother who wished her and her husband happy 20th um, anniversary. And I said, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. And she was crying because it meant so much to her. And the party was over. So here's the thing. Charisse is still not divorced yet. She's going to remodel her whole house. I'm trying to figure out where the budget's coming from. Uh, Juan and, what's her name? What's Juan and, what's the woman's name? Robin, they're figuring out their relationship. She quit going to therapy, and she's still not sure if Juan really cheated or not. 
when they were kind of on this on again, off again. I said, well, if you weren't really together, then he didn't cheat. I made that very easy for you. <laughs> Unless we're not being, you know, the information that we got was incorrect. Kevin's still in the friend zone with Giselle. Giselle's dating the retired basketball player. And we're in the street is her mom approved. Oh my god. Next. Um, Monique hasn't moved into the Potomac house, as Chris calls it, as of yet. But they did go to Dubai and Thailand for their fifth and wedding anniversary. Both? So you're just going to stunt on us like, you better do it. They have real money. I appreciate seeing that. I, I really do. I, I appreciate seeing that. Um, but it's just... Mm, uh, Ashley and Michael are still rocky. The restaurant's still unprofitable. And the countdown to see if the relationship lasts is on. Which is sad. Which is sad. Karen and Ray, they're still happily ever after. Uh, she's trying to see if she can become the grand dame of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Great Falls. My whole thing is, this is kind of tiring, that whole label, the grand dame. Uh, the, the, she's still the grand dame of Potomac. I'm sure the other residents of both places would feel very differently. So that's it. The reunion looks like it'll be interesting enough. Please like, comment, subscribe, come back.